Hi, this is Brandon, and today we're going to be installing the Windows 10 Technical Preview that was just released by Microsoft earlier today. In order to install it without having to go through the hassle of clearing out a new partition and dual booting and installing from scratch, we're going to set Windows 10 up in a virtual machine that will run inside Windows 8. Luckily, Microsoft supplies a virtualization machine with their OS's. In Windows 8, it's called Hyper-V. And you can check and see if you have if you've already installed Hyper-V by opening up the control panel. Once you have your control panel open, go to programs, program features, and under program features, you'll see turn windows features on or off. We're going to click on that, and another window will open, and this is a list of all the built-in windows features that you can turn on and off. Here we have Hyper-V listed and there's a check box uh, already checked next to it so we already have it installed. Um, if you expand this menu there are two items Hyper-V management tools and Hyper-V platform. If you don't have this installed already and Hyper-V platform is grayed out where you cannot check the box next to it that means one of two things. Either your motherboard does not support virtual machines and you're just out of luck with Hyper-V or virtualization has not been turned on. And if you go into your motherboard's BIOS, you can dig around through the settings uh, in the menus there and look for anything relating to virtualization, enable that, reboot, come back in and this should be where you can check it. I actually had to do that on this machine when I first installed this. Virtualization was not enabled on the motherboard but, uh, in the BIOS so we had to turn that on and everything's fine now. Um, once you check these boxes and click OK, what would normally happen if you didn't have this installed? Another window will pop up. It will begin downloading the software from Microsoft, install it, and then you'll have to restart your system afterwards to complete the installation. Okay, now that we have Hyper-V installed, we're going to open the program. You'll just find it in your program list called Hyper-V Manager, and you'll come to this screen, and we can begin setting up the, um, the actual virtual machine that Windows 10 will run in. Uh, when you come to this screen, you'll see uh, over here on the left um, the Hyper Manager list. Just click on your PC's name under that, and we're going to come over to the right side under actions click new and virtual machine it'll give you a wizard that'll pop up to uh, to create a machine we're going to go through these steps one by one you could do just click finish and it would make a lot of default choices for you but we know what specs we need so we want to make sure we set our virtual machine to meet the recommended specs for Windows 10 um, click next and let's give our virtual machine a name which we'll name Windows 10. Next, uh, Generation 1. Th this gives you uh, different options for uh, uh, your virtual machine, um, a Gen 1 or a Gen 2. Gen 2 has the advantage of letting you install um, an OS over a network, uh, a few other things. Generation 1 will be just fine. Assigned memory. Uh, looking at the Windows 10 spec sheet, uh, the minimum requirement is a gig of RAM. Recommended is two, so we're going to do that. We're going to give it two gigs of RAM, 2,000 megabytes, and we'll check this box, box for dynamic memory. Uh, we can skip configure network, virtual hard disk. This gives you the locations where everything will be installed. Uh, the virtual hard disk that will actually hold the files for the installation. Size, we don't need to set aside 127 gigs. We'll, uh, we'll still be generous and give it 50. Installation options. Now, uh, this is where we'll click on install operating system from bootable CD. Um, we don't have a disk, but we do have an IS, ISO file that we downloaded from Microsoft. So we'll click it and then just browse to your location where you saved the file. 
and that should be it. We'll click finish and the program will create the virtual machine and you'll see it listed here. Okay, so we're going to highlight it and we can just right click and click start and it will actually start up the virtualization. You'll see status said succeeded. We're now running. You'll see it running down here. We'll just double click down here and that gives us our window and now we're installing Windows 10. So now just let the installation finish like you would any other Windows installation and once it's done it will boot right into Windows. You'll set up your account and we'll have Windows 10 at your fingertips. Now in the next video we're going to look and address some of the problems you may encounter when using um, this virtual environment to to run Windows, the most common being connectivity issues to the internet. So look for our next video coming out soon on that and then further videos on uh, actually getting under the nuts and bolts of this new Windows 10 operating system. Thanks for tuning in. My name's Brandon and you can follow Tech Rally at, at @TechRally on Twitter.